Hello everyone, Marok here, and I know what you're thinking. What is this? This isn't Persona. This is usually the day you would throw a Persona video. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, if you didn't watch my last Alpha Protocol video, there's a reason. It is very cold. I'm actually sitting here wrapped up in a blanket in a jacket indoors. So, yeah, I'm not going down to the basement where I normally would do that because it's like 10 degrees colder down there. So, yeah, I'm not going to try and get myself sick. <laughs> so... Today we have something a bit different from uh, normal. For anybody out there that wants to be an aspiring uh, blessed player or someone who just wants to know how to better edit your videos, you're welcome here and I'm going to teach you everything I have kind of learned over the past uh, year. So, yeah. We're just going to call this... Uh, this is where you put your name, for the record, uh, if you didn't realize that. I don't know what to tell you, but yes. We're just going to call this edit training because that's pretty much what this is. Now, this right here, I'm using Sony uh, Vegas Movie Studio HD 11. If you're using one newer than that, you probably have most of what I'm going to tell you this video. If it's previous, you'll just have to want to watch a different video. But yeah, choose media button here. Normally, I would suggest going match media settings because that's a lot easier. This one, I'm just going to go with what I already did. Yeah. Nope, hit OK, Port Media. Generally speaking, you put the same one you just, uh, you know, match the settings for. If you want to go up to YouTube, or put this up on YouTube, you want to make sure this is set to None, Progressive Scan. And generally speaking, you want to go Best for Video and Audio. Now, this is all well and good, but uh, what am I actually going to teach you? And I know you're probably wondering. Well... I'm going to show you how I go about basically editing a video. I'm not going to do the whole darn thing, but I'm going to show you the very basics. Now, you're probably wondering, um, why do some people's videos have that horrific white noise in between? Well, I'll show you right here. See? You can be suave and nice, and I think you get a 10%. Actually, I forgot. A Step. I'll probably edit that out. It's the glory of editing. Editing, talking about editing while editing myself. I'm sorry, the first order of business is you want to sync everything up. Normally, I do, I start with Audacity first. I hit recording, and then I go in game. So that means for me, I need to go to, I think this is where I started talking. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is. And then hit S, go delete. And now, this helps to have a, a cue to signal yourself when you're doing it. For me, it's whenever I turn around in-game. For example, right about now. And then, take that out. There we go. There we go. Now we're all synced up. That's the first step. This helps immensely later on, and I just went the wrong way. <laughs> but, yes. And now, now that we got everything essentially synced, this is where we go to eliminate the nasty white noise, and I'll show you an actual example this time, instead of just messing the whole thing up like I did before. Places in the, excuse me, the entire game. You heard that white noise, you hear me breathing, that's not really very, uh, attractive. Yeah, there are a multitude of ways to get rid of this. One is, sh is foolproof, but it takes a lot longer. This is the easier solution, but it's not as good. Do you want to add audio restoration? Now, I got this from a video on YouTube. I copied down his exactly. This is what that guy uses. I don't remember his name. I wish I did. But I made my own modifications to these, excuse me, these settings. This is what I use. But it makes my voice probably a little bit deeper than it... I'm sorry, excuse me, than it already is. But, yeah. This is what I use. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, this next part depends on what game you're playing and what you settings you play it on. Personally, every game I've ever played is different. Now, I'm sure you've watched some Let's Plays or watched some videos where the volume is just way too loud. This is where this comes in. You go to Insert, preferably after you highlight whatever you want to edit. Audio Envelope, Volume. And then, simply, go like this. But I know what you're thinking. Well, what if I only want to, you know, this really loud part right here? You just double click. Now, there's a reason you want to, because if you do this, the whole darn thing, I'll show you an example. Get rid of this. And 
and get rid of that. Then the whole everything changes with it. You don't really want that. Delete back to there. So yeah. That is one way to help with the uh, music in the game, whatever it is. But how do we get... What's the foolproof way of getting rid of that annoying white noise? Well, I'll give you an example of... Well, this is what it's like after the audio restoration. Places in the... In, excuse me, the entire game. You can tell it's not as bad, but you can still hear it. The way you get rid of it, very easy, but it is very time-consuming, as I said. Depends on how time-consuming you want it to be, but how good you want it to be, how zoomed in you want to go. Personally, I go to two seconds. It's a simply a matter of doing that a whole bunch of times until you get every little white bit of white noise out of it. So then you just have yourself talking. That takes a bit of time, but it's well worth it if you want professional quality videos, or at least a heck of a lot better. Um, to show you an already example of this, we'll go to my finished files. I have my folders are a mess right now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just go here. No. That's what mine looks like. My last Alpha Protocol video. Yes, every single one of these, I went through and did all that. So yes, that is the long and short of the easy way. But let's say you want to add in your own little, how do I do post commentary? You may be asking instead of just taking your audio from, audio from Audacity, what if I want to do it in post? That's a good question. Now, you can just go to voice here, arm for record, and then wherever the heck you put your post commentary. I put mine in a folder called post commentary, go figure. And then wherever you want to start, you simply hit recording. La di da. Ah, Michael Thornton. There you go. La -di -da. Um, and then if you want to restore that, do the same thing. It's really not hard to edit videos, guys. I figure I'd show you what I do personally now. La -di -da. Um, then it's not nearly as bad. It does take a little bit. Of, for example, if I do a live commentary, it usually takes about the same amount of time as it does to record it. If I'm doing post commentary, it can take a couple of hours, like my Persona 4 videos. That's the way I do it. Or you can do a mixture of live and post, where you record the whole thing in one go in post-commentary, but it feels like live commentary while you're doing it. That's the way I do it in, in uh, Persona 4 at right now. As far as anything else, you can add special effects. I've never really messed with them a whole lot, but let's say, for example, you wanted to only affect that little bit right there. We want to add some video effects. Then simply add whatever you want to add. We'll save for the sake of simplicity here. We wanted some black and white. And yes. Nice dig. Whoops. I went the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh. Sorry, yeah. Forgot about this thing. Totally black and white. Not at all. So, yeah. That's as far as that goes. I do not actually want this in black and white, so get rid of that. So. As far as audio stuff goes, oh, I forgot another thing. Let's say if you are editing, like in my persona, but you want to do those fancy little editing things instead of just going like, uh, let's just do this. It doesn't really make a whole lot of difference what it is, but let's say you want to hook these two together. Instead of just going like this, like you want to cut to a later part in the video, instead of just doing this, where it just cuts like that, Let's say you want a little bit more of a graceful cut. Then you simply go to, uh, you right click, right, I don't think it matters left or right, and then transition. You, if you want to push, which is simply, it's pretty odd, pretty, yeah, but it's not bad. How do you like your new apartment, Alpha Protocol? Or if you want just a really simple one, just literally drag it. Like one second, or however many, how much fade you want. Now, Mike. How do you like your new It's really not hard to do. As besides that, I'm trying to think of any other questions I would have when I was starting making videos, how to get rid of stuff. I've already went over audio levels, I went over how to edit your video, add extra effects, to clean up your audio a reasonable bit, how to adjust your audio settings as painlessly as possible. There are some spots in games you'll have to up and some 
things you have down, otherwise you'll blow your viewer's ears out. That's never a good thing for business. Uh, beyond that, I guess I'll just go with how do you render something? Or what things would I render in? I have different things I render in. For Persona, I render in uh, MP4 640 by 480 for my Alpha Protocol, 1920 by 1080 30p. Uh, sometimes, if it's if I'm going for 1080, I'll also go with Windows Media or WMV. Usually, one of these will do it. If you're, for example, doing a 720, uh, usually they have different things under the same ones I'm talking about. I just hadn't favorited it. Excuse me. Yeah, here we go. That'd be what I'd use for 720. So I probably should favorite that because that's probably going to be useful down the line. So yeah. Want questions as to what you should use for recording? That's there's a hundred different well not hundred, but there's a lot of different answers on that front. Uh for audio, I'm not saving that. For audio, Audacity is definitely a way to go, as you see I'm using it right now. It's really not hard to figure out. You hit the red circle, you start. You hit the red, the, the uh, yellow square, you stop. That's it. That's all. And then when you're done, you go to File, Export, wherever you want to export it, and then do that. Then you can save it as a file, and you can use it in Sony Movie Ve or Sony Vegas. I don't know. I'm tired right now. Sorry. But yep, that's it for now, guys. And hopefully this helped you make better videos hopefully it's taught you one trick maybe even two if i was lucky so you guys very much for watching and hopefully i shall see you guys later sorry again for no persona this week but it is freezing if as long as i get my heat fixed it'll probably be back on next tuesday i might even throw another one in like friday if this week if i can uh yeah as always guys thanks and goodbye everyone